Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, Matt Tightwaddy. I'm just doing another little how-to video. Um, I'm making a couple for people, uh, oh, certainly one for Lee, Food for Adventure. He's a guy that sort of sent me the, uh, the big uh, extendable uh, shelter. Um, little chats with him, I said anything um, you see me making you fancy mate as a way of just shooting something back to you as thanks mate. Uh, and he's uh, obviously said, you know, really likes your idea with a belt. Um, this is a nylon, it's 40mm uh, polypropane webbing, which is seat belt material. It's 40mm in, in depth. Um, I've always used one of these belts, certainly uh, when in, in the forces, as soon as I've got my hand on some Velcro, because literally that is the closure system. Goes around there. And this is primarily to design just to hold your trousers up, okay? It's nothing flash, it's nothing fancy. All I ever hated, because I always used to have to wear a webbing belt over this, and a lot of you guys doing that as well, is uh, having a buckle that then dug into you when you was bending up and down and so forth. Uh, a lot of people have actually said it's not a little bad idea just to have a very simple, easy to make belt. So I think this is also for two reasons. One, because a lot of people have asked me, can I make them and start selling them? Guys, I just don't have the time to do that. I wouldn't know what to charge anyway. Um, and once I started sort of charging people for something, it becomes a chore rather than a pleasure to do for somebody you knows a little gift or something to send out. Um, so anyway, it, there it is. It's a simple lightweight belt. Once that's down there, I tell you that is very, 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 very strong. More than adequate to hold your trousers up. You've got no bit of metal in the middle that's going to dig into you in some way. Or as somebody has rightly said, because somebody else is going to get one, he's wore out a decent pair of trousers because that piece of metal um, in and around the, the material of the expensive trousers is just kind of worn, worn, worn into it, okay? So we here have a, a, a belt, okay? This is double lined, so it's two layers of this material. And I'll try and show you how that's done. That's where it starts on. So there's two layers of material all the way down to this part. Now, how you would measure a belt. Um, you take one of your own belts, and I think just to get it in shot, I'm going to turn it round like that. Now, that's the uh, hook, and that's the loop in. So you get one of your belts, okay? So there would be the part that goes in, and there would be the buckle. I want to find a belt just to show you, but I haven't really got one. Okay, this is all a bit impromptu because I've uh, been called into work, things have got a, a bit busy. Um, so I'm just trying to do this as a quick video um, and trying to get a, a, a few things made just a few hours before I go into work. So there you've got your normal belt, that's where it starts there. So whether you're 36 inch waist, 40, whatever, um, you would just make that part to there that goes around your waist this is the locking system and now i normally make that let's measure it out there is an eight inch piece of velcro from there to there and obviously a corresponding piece of velcro on there to there so easiest way to do this then is to get your material this is not going to be in shot remember to allow a bit to fold over and then you're going to need to double over two bits of material okay so now if I was to cut that there allowing for the 8 inch piece and a piece to fold over that's where I would cut it, you will cut it to the required width but remember you've also got to have a piece that comes over and doubles it just makes that belt a bit firmer okay so um, i'll bring you back once i've measured up and i've cut one out all right ladies and gents obviously my one was in black as we see it's underneath both the guys i've got a bit at like a 36 inch waist which is roughly what i've got these with the velcro crows it, it has a large um adjustment of closure which I'll show you later on okay so all I've done is laid that material out obviously you'd know just to measure it out but here I've allowed as I've done there just enough to turn that over and that will be the actual edge outside of the belt and as I pull it down you'll see 
it's come from a uh, big strip but um i've done it to there because that's where the velcro is going to be uh marked off there but here as you can see it's i'll put it down sorry two layers okay and all, all goes around to the end of the belt which is just a loop okay so that will be sewn flat like that all the way down I'll just sew down both sides which I'm going to show you to do later on so I've got two layers of this material and it will come up to there which I'm now happy with and uh, I will cut but I don't think I've got the scissors oh that's why I have prior preparation so I've marked it off where it needs to be so effectively if I get rid of all that get rid of that belt I've now got an extremely uh, long belt long enough for what I needed to be but it's doubled over okay uh, that bits where the loop of the velcro will go so what I'm going to do now is um, I've got two marks there you may not be able to see them so I'm going to transfer that onto the machine and literally sew that along there and sew down both sides so I'll just quickly show you um, how I'll do that on the machine thereby the bit belt that the bit that goes around you is double um, doubled over making it a lot more stronger again not meant to be um, a hold everything belt just a belt to uh, keep your kegs up so I'll bring you back in a second I'll just show you how I machine it up to get the actual belt shape all right ladies and gents if you've never worked with sort of nylon or the nylon seat belt material when you cut it because it's wavering it will fray so uh, a quick tip there for you is uh, if you get a lighter hands out the way so you don't get burnt obviously and then just run your lighter along both sides you've got to be careful because guess what that's hot plastic there and uh, they'll give you a nice little burn and what I normally do is give it a few seconds to cool don't just stick around on it you get burnt and then just shape it into shape okay here's the other end which again you can see already started to fray a little bit again I'm going to go along just to seal the edge and uh, everybody does it at some point you'll grab hold of it when it's hot i just give it a few minutes just to cool wet your fingers and run it along so now i've effectively sealed that edge right ladies and gents i've got one extremely long piece i'll try and turn it around so i can actually see uh, one long piece of webbing which i need to double up now when i cut it they were the two marks that's the edge and that mark there okay so literally all i'm going to do is put it on the machine that's going to be my flat bit this is going to be the belt bit which is going to be doubled over it's quite hard to explain hopefully you, you, you're getting it by watching me doing it so i'm going to sew it up and down a few times okay every single machine they're not indifferent they've all got a back button so i'm going to get to this edge and hit the back button a few times just hand where I need it now then again that flappy edge will go through there and all I've got to do you see these two bits here I'm going to sew down one edge and then come back the other edge so I'm just in double width in the belt and again a little bit of concentration because you want to come quite near to the edge on this side and when you come a little bit experienced with the machine you can guide it through with your fingers machine doesn't have to go this fast if it's your first time using one you can just go as slow as you like and again still sealed this side I'm just sealing it down both sides nice and tight together And again that's where it's um, the loop is where I've doubled it back over on itself I'm going to come down I'm going to seal that stitch there so wherever happens that's a completely sip it I've, I've gone back over that and I've sealed that one pull it round and just go back over it again 
let it come forward and again I'll position that there because once I seal this now um, you'll see this is the open side that side's now closed drop it down and run it through the machine again I realise uh, watching somebody put something through a sewing machine is quite boring so I'll try and speed up as much as I can what I'm trying to do this little project is uh, might be the first thing you've made on the machine Go down there and see what that slip stitch. There's the two bits. I always cut cut on off as soon as I get to them. Then once I finish the whole thing, just go around with a, a lighter and just put, um, seal any bits of co uh, cotton off. Now um, that's the bit where the velcro is going to go. Um, so just to seal that, remember I said maybe an inch. I've just turned over an inch there. And again, I'm going to sew it up and down. Make sure it's on the same side as um, the doubled up loop because this will be covered by a piece of velcro and so round it in a square each time you go back would you lock it off and bust your bike just pushing your back button on your machine it will go backwards and just lock off two or three stitches One more to there. Actually, I'll just need to bring that up and just move that in a little bit. Okay, just to bring that down. And just because I like to do things, you can do it properly. I'm just going to run one diagonal line across there. You, probably not necessary, but just something I like to do. Back to lock it up right so there's the first two bits of cotton that's that one I always nip them off because this keeps it tight and tidy so now what I have is the tab that you'll use to open and close the belt that's where the velcro is going to go the closure system and an extremely long belt this now is double layered so it makes it a lot more rigid not too rigid because that's not the idea of this belt it's to be a nice comfortable belt just to keep the kegs up so um, I'm going to go outside now and explain um, I haven't got room to do it in here how you work out how you put the velcro on and how you work out which way it's going to go so I'll bring you back in a sec right then um, as you just seen me sew up the belt um, it's single thickness to there double thickness sewed all the way down there and it continues on to the rest of the belt uh, I buy 100 millimeter wide uh, velcro and two or three meter lengths because I find it the cheapest so that bit there okay that's where the female or the, the loop bit of the velcro is going to go I've marked out two lots that will fit once cut out will fit onto there okay I've got, I'm doing two belts at a time so I'm doing like a little production process I'm not going to let you watch me uh, uh, cut things out um, so I'll get back to you in a sec but that's how I've just measured it off there straight onto there Remembering it's not to come over the velcro won't come over the actual uh, width for your belt In fact, you need it just slightly under width so nothing hangs out of the belt bring you back in a sec Right ladies and gents, uh, cut it out. You've got hook and loop side. Okay, um That's going to be one end of your belt and this is the locking system. Okay, this is the bit that's single crew now You've got hook and loop. Okay, or I'll just describe as the hook side the loop side This is the one that you want here. Okay, you can put that side but this is a side that's got the hooks on it so if you're wearing any clothing or so forth it can catch so I always put the actual softer side the furry side onto that so I'm now going to go and um, sew that on and I'll bring it back I'm not going to let you sew me, watch me sew a piece of um, velcro around there I'm going to go right around the edges and then come down the middle again okay so it's right around the edges and then once down I'll bring it back in a second Right gents, now we see the belt taking shape, um, I can hopefully get it all into the one screen. Now, this flap here is well sewn, um, that the loop 
the, you know, the softer side of the Velcro. Again, this was a part of the belt that was single thickness material. Remember, from there all the way round was double thickness 40 millimeter nylon. Just gives it a little bit more rigidity. Okay, so that's the part that's going to lock. This is going to be at your body, and that's going to be the flat that comes round and locks it. So what you need to do then to get it right is put it round like that. That's your body. This is the bit of Velcro that's got the hooks on it. So just to make sure you don't sew it on the inside or the outside, okay? The easiest way to do it is put it on the floor. It's going to go from just slightly in from the end and around to there. So as you can see, that's going to be the closure way, yeah? It's quite easy to forget and sew it on the inside. So when I pick it up like that, I will make sure I now carry that to the machine and I know I've just got to sew it through there. That will just doing that, putting that to there, and that to there to make sure that both both edges of the velcro are going to come together and we're not sewing it on the other side right so i'll bring you back in a second when i've done that then and again what i will do with this is exactly the same as the last one just move it in a slight little bit then i'm going to sew up and down there a few times down the side up and down there a few times and then down the side again i'll then go halfway across and sew it right down the middle again Again, this is the piece of Velcro that's going to take most pressure as you pull, up, pull it on and pull it off. So literally, that's as simple as I'm going to do. A little recap then. That's the softer Velcro, so that's the one that's coming round against your body. This is one that will be on the outside of the belt. Make sure you've done that on the right way. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Right, ladies and gents, um, here we see the belt threaded onto a pair of uh, snazzy uh, camo trousers. Not often you see the old tight wedding camo, but if it is, it's going to be something not come mandatory. Right, so there's the belt, there's the belt loops. Okay, 40mm will normally go through like jeans or anything else like that. But here we see that the, the belt, you've got the hook bit of the Velcro, or the stiff side. So that is then comes around and it's pulled against the stomach. You breathe in, breathe in a bit more. Pull it round. That's it. That little bit just gets tucked in. And there you have one simple, really uh, no nonsense belts. Shouldn't cost you a great deal. Velcro is probably the most expensive thing. The um, 40 millimeter webbers are between 80 or a pound a meter, if that makes sense. Not too difficult to make. Um, I would quite happily, when that's like that, have rope down there and I would be lifted up okay um, it is quite a secure closure now what I need to do just to show you here I'm a 36 inch waist if I'm out in that ulu for a long time and I'm losing weight which obviously does happen guess what all I have to do is breathe in a little bit more pull it out a little bit more and there was a load of adjustment on that belt now should in the future I become a little bit more tubbier than I am or more fat by load size it's really simple it was a massive I mean there's that will show you and that's still done up that would still actually keep your trousers up okay so massive adjustment on that uh, what do we say eight inch piece of velcro there only designed to keep your kegs up however if you've got lightweight out items um, Mike bought this um, arkish pouch I sold a belt loop on it okay um, it will quite happily this belt will quite happily take things like that A lightweight um, fry kit here again it's not going to weigh a great deal so I'll slip that on and these will be things that you never really want away from your body so it's going to be sort of very very belt and braces um, survival kit Oops, I'm sodden about there
So what I said for Mark I do, he didn't come with any sort of belt loop at all. I've uh, from the top just sewed on a belt loop. I think it's going to have a, a knife in there. So just on these trousers, they'll, they'll quite happily take a, um, a few items, uh, lightweight belt kit there. I always have loops on my kit for two reasons. If that's normally secured there, it's going to impede my movement and my leg movement, okay? Getting in and out of a vehicle, uh, crawling about and that type of stuff, and even walking uphill, I don't want something that's solidly on the belt, okay? Be it an outside belt or my trouser belt. So I've always, since I've been a squaddy, sewed loops on, okay? A drop loop, yeah? So no matter where I go now, whatever I do with my legs, see where that patch is moving? No matter how I do, or whichever one I do, that's not going to impede the movement of my leg. Um, and again, if you needed to, you could actually, even the belt trousers, some are not too heavy troops, they're not going to take a big like machete or anything like that. Um, they can be used to carry a few items. But ladies and gentlemen, um, uh, Lee, through to adventure mate, thanks for that big ear sent me, there's one for you and the other fella, um, as we discussed, you have a problem with belts, the buckles, I've made you one, I can't charge you any money for it, I don't do that mate. Um, you now not, don't have a problem with the old belt buckle um, ruining your kit. So ladies and gentlemen, it really is a simple, and if it's the first thing you've ever done on the machine, it's not hard to do. Hopefully I've taken you through that. But yeah, a hook and loop, loop the belt, well pro closure. And again, once that's done up, tucked in, um, it's a job done. So ladies and gentlemen, um, thank you very much for watching. Like I say, totally amazed that people watch me how-to videos. Uh, and I'll get as many or more responses to videos like this as uh, when I'm out and about in the bush. So uh, thank you very much ladies and gentlemen and uh, be safe out there.